This plan for the back garden is 20 years of growing. At this stage, I suppose, I want something that's easy to maintain. Uh, primroses are nice, they're a nice bedding plant. We have Woody's store down the road, so I go down and have a look and walk around. Staff are very friendly and they give us any advice and plants and that, so it's great to have that on your doorstep. Our garden project has been on the long, long, long finger for a long time. Now is a good time because 30 years marriage, uh, let's make it change in the garden. Just if you have a, a, an interest in DIY, you show the kids what to do. You're not going to get up and do this yourself, no? No, no. I'll think about it in a while. Watch someone there working away, that's what sons are for. I'm glad I taught you well. John enjoys DIY, which is really in our houses, that's destroy it yourself. I like art and design, so I suppose I have the strength in the design concepts. Wouldn't dare drop the artistic impression of it. So if it's choosing the colour or choosing anything like that, no, not my job. <laughs> It's an unfinished symphony. It started with one project and I'd like to have it finished at this point. <laughs> I hope to maximise the time I spent out there. You know, OK, Irish weather is not conducive to spending 24-7 in the garden, but at least any fine day I intend to be out there. It takes 20 years sometimes to do it. Or 30. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's another room to live in. Yeah to enjoy, to relax in, to share with family and friends. And as a bonus, when you're told now, get out to the doghouse, you've got somewhere nice to go. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. Our local Woodies is a nice.